So what is 18 shots from three different points in 15 seconds or under? It's the outer inner drill. So let's go. All right, the setup for the outer inner drill is three targets, about one yard apart each with the center target one yard forward, four different shooting positions, a cone at 10 yards from the target, a cone at 15 yards from the target, a cone at 20 yards, and a cone at 25 yards from the target. So four different cones from 10 to 25 yards. Start position is going to be 25 yards, high or low ready. On signal, you're actually going to sprint to the 20 yard cone where you're going to engage each target, two shots each, starting on the outer two targets, then the inner. Hence the title of the drill, the outer inner drill. Then sprint to the 15 yard cone, except this time you're gonna shoot the inner target first, then the outer two with two shots each. Immediately upon shooting that second string, you're going to sprint to the 10 yard cone and start with the outer two again and finishing on the inner. So it starts out outer targets, inner, next cone, inner target, then outer, and then the last cone, outer targets and inner again. So with a little bit of thinking in this, part time is 15 seconds. I have the drill written up here, but I'll post a you know, larger blow up at the end of the video so you can check out the full write up. So take a look at my first clip. I'm gonna run it with my SoftMod Block 2 clone, uh, commonly referred to as the Stuka clone online, a clone of my work gun from my last combat tour back in 2015 Afghanistan. So let's see what I got. I think I'm clean. 14.53. And pan the targets. And I am clean. I got one right on the line, but I think I'm good. Put my pro timer away. So the par time for this is 15 seconds. I'm just barely clean. I got one right on the line on that far right target. Let's run it one more time. See if I can chop the time down, 15.53, or excuse me, 14.53, barely made the time, but it's a tight time standard. So let me do one more run, let's see what I got. So 18 shots with all that movement, that 15 seconds I'll say is a pretty sporting time to hit. And to be honest, I did about seven or eight runs on video and really I only got three runs. I got one run with my soft mod block two clone, which I really wanted to film a lot more successful runs. And I was able to do it twice with my fur friends race gun in 14.5. But to all the other runs, either I was uh, accurate and too slow or I was making time and, you know, just getting too many C's. So, you know, these drills are set up again, not to be pass or fail, but it's a time to meet. It's a workout. So, you know, I wasn't really on it. I don't shoot that drill as much as I shoot other drills but I was able to hit the 15 seconds, you know, three out of seven, eight times, and it's a workout. Uh, unlike 15 rounds of Fury and the nine shot drill, which I do a lot, I can hit those usually right out the gate. I'm much more practiced than them. So starting out, if you hit this drill in say 18 seconds or so with a duty style rifle, I show you're on track, definitely towards that 15 seconds. So let's check out the better of my two fur fair runs or fur friends runs in this next clip. And a 14.22, I've got one C, so that's a half a second, so it still puts me under the 15 seconds. Now, this drill is all about dynamic movement and setting up and taking those shots immediately when you get to your next point. So one tip to help you in this drill, and if you may have noticed in my other videos, 15 Rounds of Fury, Nine Shot Drill Part Two, I use the high ready, and that is the gun. Uh, muzzle up and the butt stock is floating between my elbow and my midsection and I keep the front sight post uh, around my eye level. And the key to this is, is as I'm approaching the next shooting area where I need to shoot from, I'll actually push the gun out and bring it in and mount it. You can check it out in this clip here of me doing it in action.
So to break down the high ready, uh, about two steps out from the point of which I want to take shots at, I'll actually start spearing the muzzle or pointing the muzzle at the target I want to engage, pointing it out and pushing it so the buttstock is free of my shoulder. And as I'm stopping, I'm pulling it in, picking up my sight on alignment, and placing it on fire so by the time I'm completely stopped, I then get my perfect sight picture and I can break the shot. So again, I'm running at the high ready, push the gun out, pull on fire. Now hands down, if you're shooting in a static position, uh, the low ready is much faster. It's one movement, you know, on signal, raise the muzzle up, break the shot. But for movement, especially dynamic movement, high ready, you know, beats it every time. That's because typically when guys are using the high ready, or excuse me, the low ready, they'll be running with the low ready and they have a tendency to stop, then bring the muzzle up and shoot. Or worse, they'll stop, over bring it up and have to settle it back down. So each time they're losing a little bit of time. Again, the beauty of running at the high ready is you can start driving that gun out towards where you want to shoot. So by the time you stop, the gun's pulled in, on fire, and ready to go. It might feel awkward, but I encourage you to try it. And uh, really, to get this drill at that 15 seconds, 15 seconds or under, you really got to be on the gun by, you, by the time you hit that next firing point. So I encourage you to go out, try this drill, uh, give it a whirl. If you get that 15 seconds, you know, right out the gate, you're doing better than I am. I'm a little rusty. Took me a few runs, but I was able to, again, get three out of seven. Again, these drills are workouts. They're not pass or fail. So enjoy the drill. Enough watching me get out and hit the uh, outer inner drill. Now a little side note on my, uh, my clone of my work gun. I've actually talked about and gone over this uh, complete setup on DefenseReview.com. I believe it's the build episode two. I'll put a link down below. Also, you can check out my articles I wrote during my three tours in Afghanistan, the competition to combat crossover, where I covered the evolution of, you know, my rifle setups that ultimately, you know, led to this, which I think is for 2015, this was the ultimate battle setup for, you know, the mountains of Afghanistan. And had I, you know, if I have to deploy again, I would take this exact same setup. Maybe go for a VCOG 1 to 8, just because, you know, 1 to 8s are out there now. 1 to 6 is kind of dated. But again, I'll post links down below where you can check out the articles and my original video where I talk about my setup. Again, Jeff Gerwich, thanks for watching. Barely under the